what's going on? Todd Shaw with another episode of The Sawdust Dude. Oh yeah, I appreciate you watching. Hey, big shout out to all my carpenter apprentice out there. Hey guys, appreciate you joining me once again. And oh, before we get started, hey, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Boom, right over there. And that notification bell that way because I've got ton of videos coming up just for you, the carpenter apprentice. So, hey, you don't want to be the new guy forever. Come on. Get on board. Make sure you check out the other videos under Carpenter Apprentice. And they're in the playlist. That's where you'll find them. Hey, today we're talking about one of my favorite tools as a, especially a, really a frame carpenter or a trim carpenter. <coughs> you'll really need this tool and that's the boom, the speed square. Uh, it's a Swanson speed square, speedy square. Ooh, yeah. This thing is such an awesome tool. You know, when you're doing your Carpenter apprentice, uh, Apprenticeship, uh, there's several tools. Obviously, you need a good hammer. You'll always need a pencil around close by, a good tape measure. But, you know, really, the uh, speed square is just one of those things. Gosh, um, I remember starting out, we just had to, like this little tri-square looking uh, deal. And I was just like, man. And the first time that I saw a carpenter use one of these, I was like, whoa, hey, hey. <laughs> Tell me about that thing, brother. And uh, it's just such a cool square. And uh, this is aluminum. Uh, you'll see uh, them made out of plastic as well that are like bright orange so you don't lose it, I guess. But anyway, uh, I've had this thing forever. And it's just a basic, just a basic triangle kind of shape. That's a 45 degree, obviously 90 degrees, 45 degrees. And this has a little uh, T shape there. And so, that little edge uh, just fits on your two by four like that. And so that way you kind of just make your marks. You know, this uh, speed square works out in such a great way. And let's just talk about some of the obvious things at first because somebody looks at it at first and you, you see all of those numbers. Well, don't look at the big picture like that. Let's just look at one thing at a time and then you'll figure out how to use this tool because it really is just a, uh, I say work smart, not hard. This is working smart right here. So obviously you got the speed square and let's get a longer two by four. And uh, say you're gonna lay out your your 16 on, on center. And so you, you just got everything and I'm just gonna make some marks here. Um, and so let's just say, you know, we're coming here and let's just pretend that that's 16 on center. Then I could come through just real quickly with my speed square, boom. And then we're gonna set ahead and then boom, set ahead. And then coming from here, flip that one over when you get to the end of the board like that, uh, scribe it and then set ahead like that. So the, the speed square is great for making 90 degree uh, marks when you're laying out your framing. Uh, that could be you know, for your studs or for your rafters. A floor joists or rafters uh, for the ceiling, the roof. So speed square comes in real, real, real handy for that. Another great thing, obviously, about the speed square is, is from in here you want to make a straight cut. But the speed square is great for making a uh, 90 degrees. So if I want to make a straight line, say if I wanted to do a miter cut from in here, a 45 degree angle cut, and so, but I want it to come this way. We just take your square, flip it over from in here, and then from that starting point right there, and that's my 45 degree angle off of that line there. So it's great for, for working uh, your 45 degrees. <clears throat> so we'll take the, the next set of numbers over here. Um, along this outer edge, the 45 degree angle side, you'll see DEG, that stands for degrees. And so I'll start at zero. This is obviously a 90 degree or zero. So from here, and so this also works as a protractor and you'll see pivot over here. So I'm working off of this corner and these numbers here and say, if I wanted to do a 45 degree from this way like that and boom. And you can see how those two lines are parallel because remember I used my 45 off of this side. So, you know, if I wanted another popular is 22 and a half degrees, 
this acts as my pivot point. So I just take my hand from in here and my thumb. I keep that stationary. I use this hand to pivot to read my numbers on this side. So that's what all these numbers over here, it acts like a protractor. And so I can get all the way over to a 90 degree really there. But you know, if you want to do say 60 degrees and boom, so there's a 60 degree cut from in here, just like that. And that would be my marking edge cause I saw the pivot from in there. So that's how the, the protractor uh, part of the uh, speed square these outside numbers along this edge here act as that. And one of my favorite uses for a speed square is just to use it uh, as a straight edge to cut with. So I just take my saw and then just line, line it up from this way. Place my saw here, put my speed square up there and then make a great 90 degree cut so it works out great for uh for cutting with and you can also use it i mean if you, you needed to to cut on an angle uh it, it works great in any direction if you had to cut out hills or uh cut out rafters uh it makes a great guide Hey, on this outside edge here, this is it's great, you know, these numbers running across here. Uh, this diamond right here is at three and a half. That three and a half is the width of a two by four. And so say on this two by six, I needed to scab on a two by four. How do I get that? Well, let's grab a line. So I'll take my Swanson Speed Square, stick my pencil right on that edge, run it down like that. <clears throat> Flip it over so I can finish it out this way from in here. And then I can put my two by four straight on that line. And so that line is just squared up for a, for a two by four. Also, if, if I had uh, some rafters and we wanted to put a rabbit uh, like this, and so that I needed to mount that flush to the bottom or it either come up halfway. And that's just another way. So I can come over here with my speed square, measure that, but I say inch and a half. Well, notice these little marks in here. And these are cool little marks for scribing. So I know this mark right here is an inch and a half. And so I can scribe it this way by putting my pencil in that little groove right there. And so when I take my rabbit and put it right there, I can just flush it up with that line and I'll get the correct reveal all the way around. Now each of those marks in there, it goes from an inch, inch and an eighth to inch and a quarter. So I'm kind of, I'm kind of zigzagging back and forth. So that's one inch, that's an inch and an eighth, inch and a quarter, inch and three eighths, inch and a half, five eighths, and so on it goes up to up the line and this is great scribing so you don't have to sit there with your tape measure and try to get oh let's see here an inch and a half and you're fiddling around like that or chalking a line you just take your speed square let's do two and a half inches boom right there you scribe it you're done that's called <laughs> making money that's called working smart and not hard so the swanson speed square is great you know, for prescribing. Now, I use his little brother. Uh, this is a trim uh, square. And so it works great, you know, if you got a, a door jam and you usually run a line down the middle. And I know that's an inch and a half and half an inch and a half is three quarters. So I put it, I put my little mark here on three quarters and, and scribe my line all the way down like this. And so I can take my trim piece and now it's halfway on that door jam. So you've got the, the big Swanson square, then you got also got the trim square. You know, and all those things are great about the speed square, but if <clears throat> if you can't twirl your speed square, oh, I'll tell you what, new guy. <laughs> the new guy's been watching the sawdust dude again. <laughs> There's so many great things I can say about the Swanson speed square, but here's the cool thing about it. I got my first speed square like 40 years ago. 
they still make this little blue book that comes with them. And this is like the Bible for speed squares. Everything, uh, all these numbers, and uh, this little part here, this uh, hip and vowel, uh, that's for hip roofs and for the valleys. And what all those numbers and how to com uh, common cuts and top cuts, different cuts on, on laying out the uh, on, on rafters. You can all do with this speed square. It's all in this little book right here. So, hey, boom. With with all your tools, uh, take this speed square. It can be a little confusing about which way to pivot point. You kind of flip it around and you can, you can be up there trying to get your, get, get your angle and you're like, and they're like, That's, keep flipping around, little guy. Way to go. Yep, one more time. You know. Yeah, like any tool, like making good cuts or... Or, or laying out 16 on center. You know, on the weekends, on your nights, uh, go out in the garage, go out in the backyard, take some time and, and do uh, the different, you know, work on the scribing with the, with the speed square. Get your technique down. It's really it's about learning better skills for better results. Yeah. Boom, there you go. The Swanson Speed Square. Great for you carpenter apprentice out there. Oh, such an awesome tool. Remember, subscribe hit that button come on guys be all in let's do this together all right cool deal thanks for watching another episode of the sawdust dude oh yeah it's in the books with the speed square see you real soon oh yeah